everyone. In my everyday hair routine, I had this eye makeup on, and everyone was asking me what products I used, how I did it, and I wasn't going to do a tutorial because most of the products are limited edition, but I kind of figured that the colors are very um, not unique in a sense, so you can recreate it using drugstore products, or if you want to go to MAC and say, hey, you're two dolly quad, I need a dupe for the turquoise in there, stuff like that. So I went ahead and did the look. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I really like this. The other thing is that everyone's kind of asking me to do more fashion videos, stuff like that. So I decided either A, in the beginning of every one of my videos, I will stand up and say, this is what I'm wearing, shirt, pants, shorts, shoes, bracelets, rings, earrings, necklace, all that fun jazz. Or I can do it daily on Twitter. Link to my Twitter will be in the sidebar. A lot of people ask me about Twitter. Okay, so down low on Twitter. It's free. Just go make an account name. You can match it to your YouTube username if you'd like. Otherwise, just do whatever you want. And you just go to my page, which again, link to that will be in the sidebar. And you click follow under my picture. And then every time I update something, it'll come up on your status update. So there you go. That stops all those questions from coming in. So here I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm wearing right now. But if y'all want to see it every day, then comment below and tell me. So basically today's shirt is this really awesome shirt I found at FridayNightFashions.com. And I'm loving the back. I hope you can see that. It's got like, yeah. It's like crisscross with a little gold hoop in it. So that's from FridayNightFashions.com. My bracelets are a pretty bold statement, so um, it's the only jewelry that I'm wearing today. But they are from Wet Seal. Then, if you can see, I'm wearing black Citizens of Humanity jeans. Then I'm pairing them with these black ankle boots, which I really like. So that's my outfit of the day. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want me to do, how you want me to do it. If you don't care what I'm wearing, be like, Blair, nobody cares what you're wearing. So yeah, but let's go ahead and get on to the tutorial. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is take Cliche Cosmetics Primer, and it just looks like this. You barely need any, so just tap your finger in it. First, put it on your eye, and then start to rub it in. This is my new favorite primer, and it's awesome if you're using pigments. Try not to tug on your eye too hard. Take a touch more and put it right down here since we will be using shadows down there as well. Next we're going to take a MAC 242 which is dirty because I just used it on this eye and we're going to take Delf Paint Pot which this is not limited edition so you can still get this and this is a pretty important part of the process. So you can use other eyeshadows, and just having this base will help recreate this look that I already did. So we are going to start by just placing this on the lid. Then you are going to take the brush and line it up sideways and sweep it up. Then right about here, you're going to turn the brush and take it down like this. Then take the tip of this brush, get some Delft on it, and connect it from down here, down on your eye, about halfway. Next, I'm going to take the Hello Kitty quad, and I'm going to use this color to Dolly, which is this big turquoise color, and I'm going to use a MAC 239 brush. Now this is not a very special turquoise color, it's just kind of your average turquoise, so just go ahead and, and if you want to go to the drugstore, you can probably find a turquoise there, or you can go to MAC and say, hey, I'd like a turquoise that's your dupe for the two Dolly, and they'll help you, they'll find your closest one. So I'm going to put this just on my lid. Good enough. Then I'm going to take this flat liner brush from Coastal Scents, get some of that two dolly on, and put this from the middle going in. Now I'm going to take MAC Pigment in Deep Blue Green. This was limited edition with the Hello Kitty collection as well, 
but you can get an eyeshadow that kind of has this look to it. It's pretty deep, um, hence the name Deep Blue Green. So I'm just going to take a MAC 222 brush, dip it into the pigment, and then on the lid I'm going to swirl it into the bristles so it really gets in there and is ready for my eye. Tap off any excess, place it in the outer corner, and kind of follow that line that we drew going in and out. Now I'm going to take whatever is left over on my brush and build it into the outer corner as well as going into the inner corner. So it's kind of like the teal is only right in the very center on the ball of your eye, which is exactly what we're going for. I miss my doggy. I haven't seen him in like three weeks because I've been traveling. Next, I'm going to take that same brush from Coastal Scents, just get a little bit of this on it, tap off any excess, follow this line down, and cover the Delft paint pot. And then you can blend it in. You can use this brush to kind of deepen up that outer corner if you want. You can take it to the inner corner. So this next part, I would have to say, is the most important part of achieving this eye. No matter what colors you're using, you're going to take a blending brush. This is a MAC 224. Um, ELF has a pretty good blending brush. Coastal Scents has a ton of blending brushes. I'm sure one of them will work for you. So I'm just going to go, and this does not have any eyeshadow on the brush, and I'm just going to blend these harsh lines. Keep on blending, keep trying. <laughs> okay, now you can take that brush again. Don't put any more product on it. Just stipple it in this outer corner so that it has a little bit more and it's going to give it that kind of deepened outer corner when really we just use the same color. So it saves you an eyeshadow you have to get. Then I'm just going to take yogurt that again is in this Hello Kitty quad. It's this color right here. Yogurt is a permanent matte color, so if you want to get the closest dupes you can to this look, this color you can still get. It's not limited edition. But I'm just going to take this brush from Coastal Scents. It's a dupe for the 227 that I like. And place this as a highlight, working it in here, out, and feathering it out. Then I'm going to dip just the tip in, and I'm going to go and follow this line to the outer corner, inner corner whatever corner this is. Let's follow it to the corner. Okay, next I'm going to take a MAC 210 brush, which is this really, really tiny, fine brush. It has like five hairs on it. And I'm going to take Black Track Fluid Line. Any black gel liner will work. If you want to use a pencil, if you want to use a liquid, you can. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some on this brush, wipe off the edges, just because I don't want big blobs of stuff everywhere. Okay, I'm going to start from the middle. Take more product and kind of work it into the inner eye. This is really, really hard for me to be doing this for you guys. So if I have to fix it up in my mirror, I will. Well, you get the gist of how I do it, so let me go fix it. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. I don't do anything fancy with this. So I just put the eyelash curler on it. Press down a couple times. Take it off. Alright, now it's time for L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. My favorite mascara. You can get this at any drugstore. Now get the bottom lashes. And one of the big things you want to remember about mascara, which a lot of times people forget because I used to forget until I started realizing I was forgetting it, then I paid extra close attention to it, is that you want to make sure you get these baby lashes right on the inside and it'll give you that extra glam pop. 
And also down here, you want to make sure you get the baby lashes. Okay, I forgot something, and I realized while I was doing my mascara on the bottom lashes, I need to line my waterline with black eyeliner. So I'm using Feline Coal Power from MAC. This was limited edition, but it's coming back out. I don't know what collection. Elle just said it was coming back out, so I trust her. I'm going to pull down on my waterline just a tiny bit. Place this in there. Okay, and then you want to do this part before you put your mascara on, but I forgot. So you're going to take your lashes, pull up, and line right here. And this is just going to make your lashes look fuller, bigger, thicker, better. Okay, eyes are done. I'm going to take MAC Dainty Mineralized Blush with a 129 blush brush. Next, I'm going to take MAC Ahoy There Lipstick, which I would like to thank Jamie X. Dahl for sending this to me. Link to her YouTube videos will be in the sidebar. She is absolutely amazing. I love her videos. So, yeah. Straight from the tube, no brush, no. Then I'm going to take Baby Sparks Dazzle Glass. I'm almost out of and I'm really sad. I'm going to have to get my second tube of it. Alright, so that's it. Tell me what you think about this look down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later. Bye!